in other situations, you know, they might put that actor on a stage, cars not moving, and they do the dialogue. Mike's like, nope, we're doing that live. We're gonna do that in oncoming traffic, and we're still gonna get the dialogue. When you're in the real ambulance driving around and it's turning corners, you don't have to do a whole lot of work because there's already tension, there's already fear, there's already intensity. <laughs> We're going a thousand miles per hour. You have air blasting in your face. You're kind of scared because you are driving on streets and then really keep that mentality of like, I'm in a scene. What am I thinking? What are my intentions as a scene? It becomes really wild. Me and Cam, our world exists within the dimensions of this ambulance. We were in a real ambulance when we had one foot on each side so we could fit. It was, you know, bruised the whole movie because it's just such a physical movie. Yeah, I'm sort of the stunt mat, and stuff happens on my limp body. So it's definitely like something I'm gonna remember as like, wow, I was really under there. I saw all that happen above me. And three, two, one, and go. Uh, that was a good one. One more time. Your free falling in the back of an ambulance for three months in a row, every single day. And it was crazy, but we had so much fun.